That's how you got so big. It's through multiplication of your own cells. And it does it in factors of 20. From top to bottom. Interesting, huh? So, by following how this weave goes of 13 and 20, I mean, basically that's what we're talking about, is that, that this rectangle, 13 by 20, just by, con by being aware of that, it entrains your consciousness to all of the interplay of consciousness and creation. And there's nothing that you can think about it that's going to help. It's just what you end up knowing. And your intuition kicks in, and you end up in the right place, meeting the right people, doing the right thing. That's what's going to get us all through this. I'm not saying that this is the only way to do that. I'm saying that this one works all the time. And that's why this is important. <clears throat> there is something else that I want to do, and I want to do it for the camera. Uh, I want to do a, a formula, because um, everybody desires this one thing. And you look at the basis of all desires. I mean, this has got to be the one that's the strongest. Everybody wants peace of mind, don't they? Peace of mind. Well, that's what, you know, peace of mind's got a lot to do with intuition, doesn't it? Because when you have this, that's usually when this occurs. In fact, in order to have peace of mind, the only time you can possibly have peace of mind is when you are centered. Isn't that true? It's only when you are in this position that you can have peace of mind. Okay? How do you get centered? There's only really one time that you can be centered. That's when you're certain. When you are certain, then you're centered. Okay. Where does certainty come from? There's only one source for certainty. The recognition of patterns. The recognition of patterns. Remember the first time that you were trying to learn how to drive? Did you have peace of mind? Were you centered? Were you certain? You didn't recognize the patterns yet, did you? Where does the key go? Which way do you turn it? Which is the gas? Which is the brake? Which is the clutch? Which way do I move this lever? What is this guy doing stopping right in front of me? All of those are patterns. Anybody taking dance lessons? Two-step, I did. Uh, square dance, tango. The more you recognize the pattern, the more certain you get the more centered you are on the dance floor. To where you have peace of mind dancing in front of your friends. Hundreds of people. It's what you've been doing your whole lives. In every case. To learn something, you're going to recognize the pattern, to become certain, become centered, and have peace of mind about that subject. 
Now we have the pattern that we can prove, so you can be certain. Of course, it takes your own. I got mine. I would, for the last four years, studied in depth all of this stuff. I have my own certainty about this pattern, centering and peace of mind about it. But it's now available. A pattern of the last 16.4 billion years of everything that's happened. And the fact that the pattern shows things are getting better and better. No matter what it looked like at the time, we are evolving. And the situation is getting better and better and better. That will go forward into our future, too. Because this ethics is scheduled to overcome power. Just like power overcame law. Have you recognized that? Law overcame reason, didn't it? Didn't it? You, we studied the law for quite a bit ourselves, just previous to coming here. So about 20 months. And there's very little reason or sanity in the way laws are written. Laws overcame reason. Then, actually, I should point this out, that during this period of time, during the fourth day, during the fourth day of this cycle right here, law overcame reason. During the fourth section of this right here, which was from uh, 1874 to 1894, was the fourth day, that's when power overcame law. That's when Carnegie and Rockefeller and uh, Westinghouse all were becoming corporate powers that overcame the laws of nations and people. So we have ethics coming in now, and during the fourth day, which is 2005, ethics will overcome power. We're just watching the, the throes of a dying animal right now. It's going to look bad, but there's lots of goodness past it. So, <clears throat> peace of mind comes from being, when you're centered. Centeredness comes from certainty, and certainty comes from the recognition of these patterns. So you can look out there and see what's going on and know with certainty that things are getting better. It's going to be very important. You're outnumbered. There are more people worried than certain. There's more people afraid of the future than looking forward to it. That you know. You're outnumbered. So it's very important that you have this as down as you can get it. At our web page, we have a web page, and there on the web page are articles and um, dates and, and places to look up data and match the dates so that you yourself can do the research. And don't rely on me or anybody else. It's your certainty you're looking for, not mine. Does that make sense? What? The website. Yeah. I'll just write it big on another piece because I wanted to do something else there. Okay. Here's the website. Of course, it's got the W's. <laughs> 